Hi, good evening everyone. Uh, my name is Elvis and uh, today is, um, uh, you know, it's about 5.30 in the morning in the Philippines. Um, the thirty power and let's do the right thing is always, um, always supporting our president, no matter what. Let's not listen to stupid media and stupid other things. Let's keep it real, let's keep it ourselves, our use, our mind, our thoughts and uh, let's listen to our president and feel what he says. That's the most important thing. What I wanted to uh, mention today and what I'm doing this video today about is some people on the Philippines, they don't understand why our president is taking um, USA army out of the Philippines. OK, so I just want to clarify some things for those people who has been commenting and saying bad things about our president. They are uh, because US is our allies and we need them this and that. First of all, no, we don't need the US. In a, in a lot of things. We can do trading, we can do something, but we don't need US Army in the Philippines, okay? Um, US Army is on the Philippines for their own benefits, their own reasons, not for our own reasons, okay? Um, our president knows why he wants to send US home. He knows the reasons, and most of us around the world, we know also some of the reasons. We don't know all, because our president knows much better than anyone and he knows much more information than anybody knows in the Philippines. He's the president. He's the one who gets all the information which people are not aware. And he, what he's doing is also try to protect his own country, his own people. And most of the reasons, I, most of some of it I know why and what's the reasons also he wants US to go out of our country, the Philippines, okay? So I'm going to explain something like this is um, he wants a U.S. Army to go out. Um, reasons why teachers problem and they are there for their own benefits, their own reasons. U.S. and China and Russia don't get along together, don't get along good. They never did. U.S. by next year, you should be a war. Should be a war. Not should. You will be a war. Most of our, our president, he knows what the U.S. is trying to do. You'll be a war between China, Russia. U.S. is involving Philippines into this. Okay. So our president doesn't want war. If you mention and if you know, he doesn't want to fight to anyone. He doesn't want to fight to China. He doesn't want to create a war. A blood war, like he says, he mentioned that, you know, he doesn't want to create blood war, which is no need. For what? What's the reasons we have to create war for nothing? Why we have to kill so many people, so many innocent people? For what? What are we creating this war for? So he knows he doesn't want that war. A lot of people should, under should understand that and hear what he says. He doesn't say everything because he doesn't have to, but he knows a lot of information. So, U.S. wants to fight China and Russia. U.S. is finished, okay? In a lot of things, U.S. is finished, he's done. U.S. doesn't have no money. U.S. is going bankrupt. In a few years more time, U.S. is finished. Probably this year, we're going to see a change already. When the election comes with Trump winning the election, Trump will win. A lot of people doesn't like Trump, but nobody understands that's the reason. Trump is going to win, doesn't matter what. He's going to win. Hillary Clinton is nothing. So it doesn't matter whatever Hillary Clinton does, you will not win this election. God already knows who's going to be there. It's the same as our place in the Philippines. God already knew who they're going to be president in that country. Who's the right person to be leading this country? Okay. And that right person is right here, right now. And if we're not behind him and we're not supporting him, you guys, all of us, we don't know what we are against of. So the main reason our president is sending US home is because he doesn't want to fight. We, he doesn't want us to be involved on a fight with China and Russia. We're going to be in the middle. Because if you guys see him, USA Army is on the Philippines. They have the bases in the Philippines. They're going to attack Russia and Philippines, I mean, in China, through our country. So just put it in, in the sense of 
If the attack, if it comes a war, it breaks up a war between US and Russia and China, hello, US is in the Philippines. We're also going to pay a price, which we don't have nothing to do with it. Why are we going to get involved with something which they haven't done nothing to us? So that's why our president, he doesn't want no bloodshed, no war against China, against Russia. And that's why our president is going. Why he's going with Russia and China and other countries just around Asia? He's doing right. Just Asia side. No need the other side. The other side haven't got nothing to give to us except death, killing, destroyed. That's what the other side has to us. Asia side, Indonesia, China, Russia, and some other countries around our Asia side has so much to offer. If everyone sees it and understands it, who is the biggest important? The import to US, China, Indonesia, and some other places around Asia side. Does it come in any sense? So this is what I want to people to understand, which, which they don't know, they think they are our allies. In a sense, they are there not to help us. They are there for their own benefits. They are there to take information because they are closer to China and Russia for their own benefits, not for us. They don't pass all the information US knows through China and US, I mean China and Russia, they don't give it to us in the Philippines. They put us in a black room. They give you some information what they want to give to the Philippine government. The rest is qualified. It's all uh, qualified and nobody else knows it except themselves. So our president is aware of a lot of things. And that's why he does also want US troops over there for us not to be into a fight with anybody else, which we don't need that. And he's preventing World War Three. Trump has to win this election, which he will win, to prevent World War Three coming up by next year. And that's why God knows that to put the right people there in the right place to prevent World War Three. If not, World War Three is going to start sooner than anybody thinks. So for the people who has been comment against our president, the 30, please look around the world, see about US and what they do and what they try to do. Okay? It's not beneficial for us. If you see the countries they're going into, go and see how they left it behind. People that are dying, they have no food, they have no water, their houses is destroyed. People were so killed, you were killed every single day. They tortured them also in Iraq and Afghanistan a few days ago. Last week, US troops killed, I don't know how many people from Afghanistan. Those kind of Asian, those kind of places where they were last week. So, let's uh, not go against our president for what he's doing and a lot of questions he has been asked. You know, why this, why that, and some people, they call him names. Get information and please think about it because he's protecting you and he's protecting your family, okay? And he's protecting our country from something bad to happen through this year, this year, until next year, we're going to see much more movements going on through China and Russia and the U.S. Because the U.S. really wants to attack China and Russia. So, why is that? They haven't done anything. They don't want no war. Putin doesn't want no war in Russia. He's trying to protect his country. Like our president is doing it. Like China also is doing it. They protecting their own country. They protecting their own people. Our president Duterte is protecting your own families, our country, for us to be safe on the streets, for you to sleep good at night, 
for your children to be able to walk on the streets. You know, and you people come over here and keep, you know, saying bad things about it. Why sending U.S. home? We need them. No, we don't. We have army in the Philippines. We need more equipment. Yes, we do. Which, uh, that's what exactly what our president do. But the other president before, he haven't done that. He knows we need more army. He knows we need to support this army. We, the army and police, they are the ones who makes our country safe from bad people, which is all over the world. Police, they risk their lives to protect our own every single day. Army, they also protect our country. We should be thankful and grateful we have that. And what our president is doing, giving them more to the army, to the police, and to stop them being corrupted. What is wrong with this picture? Is anything wrong with this picture? What our president is doing? Is anything wrong cleaning up a mess which somebody left behind and nobody ever had the balls to do it? Nobody had the balls to clean up Philippines. This President Aquino, he never had any balls to clean up the Philippines because he is the biggest corrupted person ever. He has his own family inside the government, which is the biggest corrupt. And himself is one of them. This Dalala Dilemma, whatever the flipping egg this woman is, you know, she's also the same shit. If everybody sees it, she is the one who kills a lot of people and send other, other people to kill, you know, and do some other crimes and drug dealer protector. And taking 24 million from the pork scum, which he gone into one of her um, senators. And then they come up, they don't know what is the name. And what that money gone to. In the dilemmas, 24 million on her account. And this woman, they put her on prison. She took the fault. because And this dilemma, just, you know, this we have to get into. All the evidence, this woman tried to destroy it, but we're going to find it. Her time is coming up. And that's it. We need to stop this person, no matter what. But anyway, I wanted to comment about something uh, just quick over here. Uh, probably I will leave this for another day then. Um, it's uh, quite enough for today. But um, I hope it discovers of why our president is in the U.S. home. Okay. So for some people that don't understand it and try to be against our president, he's protecting you, your families, and everybody else in this country. Okay? And if you see it the way he loves his own country, his own people, nobody ever done that. This Aquino never ever, ever done that. So how come you guys come and judge him for what he's doing? You know, and, you know, cleaning up his own country putting his own people in the right place, creating more jobs, paying police more, the army creating more um, protection for their army, make them more straight and stop this kind of drug dealing and stuff like that. What's the way of cleaning up? If somebody's not listening, what happens? You need to go one way or another. So, anyway, this is what I want to say. I wanted to comment something about uh, what happened before but i'll probably do this by tomorrow or something so i'll tell you will be another mention of something i'm not a professional over here like this like that but i know what goes on and a lot of things and um i can comment on a lot of people which they're not aware of it and to make sure you try to understand it for now thank you very much have a nice night or a nice day and if you like it please share it um to others that would be great and um if not it's only my point of view and just giving some information to, for some people to be aware of. For now, I was the authority power and I will support our president no matter what. And I love him always. And for me, he's the best president ever we had until now. So the authority power, do the right thing and always support our president no matter what. And let's stop using or listening to these media stupid things. The authority power. Till next time. Peace. Bye-bye. <laughs>